and woken up. Let's do a quick inspiration reading. I did shuffle the cards, and it said, Take back your power, Archangel Raziel. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings into your life. All right, which I'm actually going to start, uh, just like if you watch Cards and Coffee Sunday, Cards and Coffee, Cards and Coffee Sunday, uh, Manifest Journal. Just especially if you need more positive thinking and positive outlook and, and motivation. Um, a positive, uh, this is like an intention journal. Something like that. I think I talked about it before. But a lot of people have their regular different journals, but your manifest journals, just to kind of get put your goals and stuff more so in a positive perspective. And I'm going to give you all this. I feel like preaching this morning. I've been preaching and praying all morning long at this point. At this point. At this point. Don't let people, no matter what people do, do to you, whether they're putting black magic or something on you, whether they're trying to stop your destiny, whether they're trying to change fate, whatever, whatever, I want you to know this. You can pull through everything. I'm a living testimony to it. You'll never know I'm being attacked. You'll never know. I told y'all this before, I think it was eight months ago, a year ago, I want to say eight, eight, nine, maybe ten months ago. I talked about this before. No matter what you're going through, whether you, I know a lot of people in the collective are going through the whole black magic stuff, and you don't hear it as much anymore, but it still happens. A lot of people are going through, um, a lot of it is really just doubt, and a lot of it is completion of karmic cycles and issues and stuff like that, and triggers, and healing. It's a lot of healing work and stuff that has to kind of surround a lot of that stuff. But, I'm going to put it to you like this, no matter what people do to you, it is your destiny to fulfill your destiny. And it's not theirs. People can steal your destiny. But it's still up to you <laughs> to fulfill your destiny. It's your destiny is aligned with you. Can't nobody steal it. Can't nobody take it. Can't nobody alter it. People can delay it. It's like the Terminator movie. They can delay it, but they can't stop it. If something's meant to happen, it's going to happen. And if it's meant to happen, it's going to happen. It's a divine thing. Oh, it rolling from heaven? It's going to happen. All right? Career. All right? So don't worry about that. All right, so we're going to pull from my deck. But take your power. I was shuffling my cards earlier, maybe, i uh, say, five, six, maybe five, six hours ago, maybe, uh, when I left this room. Let's see. So if you're going through something, something right now, let's see. What messages do we have for the collective? What messages do we have for the collective? All right, so we have third eye chakra. And then we also have breathe, but it's in the reverse. So a lot of meditation because I know I have not meditated in a while. And I need to really sit and meditate and, and get back on my regular schedule. But I have some spiritual interference, unfortunately. A lot of it. <laughs> As usual. If you know my story by now, you know. A lot of it. I'm a, I'm a fighter. So it is, it's not going to take me down. Um, but breathing exercises. I am going to do sound therapy. I was going to do it yesterday, which was Monday. So I'm going to try to do it again. I may record something and then upload it. I may do sound therapy like that. I think I am. And it'll be on YouTube. And I may post it on Instagram, but I think I'm going to put it on YouTube because I don't think I posted ever posted sound therapy, I think. I hadn't did it in so long, I don't know. So, third eye chakra, breathing. Um, You may be suffering anxiety at this time. You may be suffering. You may be suffering, yeah, a lot of spiritual interference or spiritual imbalance when it comes to uh, seeing the truth and seeing the world for what it is, all right? There's a lot of different techniques you can do to uh, to cleanse the penile gland. There's certain foods you can and cannot eat, of course, that'll stop and unblock it. A lot of it, which 
I use it because only because they're out of my favorite sugar, uh, white sugar. Hey, how you doing? White sugar, you're not supposed to be, you know, using because it does block your penile gland. At least all, a lot of it. Let's put it like that. Like I said, this is an improv reading just so, you know, I can probably just... Normally I get sleepy after I do, do the reading, so maybe I go back to sleep before I have to go to work. All right, so... So there may be spiritual interference right now. So let me pull another oracle deck. We're going to do the angel oracle deck. And prayer is real big right now. I will say prayer. I mean, I, I really say I had a prayer. What was it? A couple days ago, that was the bomb, a random prayer. So pray before. If you're into prayer, even... Um, positive affirmations and stuff like that do that before leaving your home clairvoyancy it says archangel raziel i am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love all right like i said this is probably one of my favorite decks to use because it is very positive and it has good energy um with good wisdom it says nurture archangel gabriel as you nurture a child you nurture your own inner child both activities are important for you right now. All right. All right. We got that. All right. So if you're going through something right now, push through that stuff. I know a lot of us spiritual people are, are getting attacked and stuff at this time. By Lord knows what. And probably everything in the kitchen sink. Hang in there. If you're going through it, hang in there. People will lie on you. People will cheat. People will steal. People will try to block your blessings. People will steal your blessings. People will try to take your anointings. But it's up to you to take that responsibility to pick yourself up. If you need to cry, cry. Get it out. Pick yourself up and keep going. All right? All right? Like I, I always tell people, God got my back. I don't care what kind of being I am. I'm an angel. <laughs> Child of God, star seed, whatever, whatever we want to label ourselves. I know we big on labels, but I know that when it all comes down to it, heaven has your back. If you are light worker and stuff like that or whatever, heaven has your back. Your ancestors, your elders have your back. Your angels got your back. Especially if you work with angels, trust me, they're not going anywhere. They got your back. <laughs> they're right there. They're not going anywhere. All right, so you got clear audience. Uh, Archangel Zedekio, it says, notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. Um, also, this deals with the penile gland and stuff as well. It also deals with the crown chakra as well. Um, also, prioritize crown, what is it, crown chakra, third third eye, which is your, your first eye. And then you got your um, throat chakra. So, dealing with that, especially dealing with clear audience so, with that, um, watch what you're listening to. Watch what you're hearing. Hey, how you doing? Watch what you're, how you speak to yourself. Watch how you speak to others. But also what you're intaking, music-wise. What you're intaking, TV-wise. What you're intaking on the internet or even what you're intaking in your environment. So sometimes, like, if it's too loud and it's just whatever outside, I, I'll go inside, play some music, or keep a good pair of headphones. Headphones are really not healthy for us. Try to play your music out loud if you can. But other than that, headphones are actually really, really damaging to your ear, especially if you're clear audience. But it also can silence a lot of stuff. So if you're around a lot of negative people and energy and words and all this type of stuff, you can shut the world down with a, one little simple pair of little headphones. All right, but just don't overuse them because if you're clear audience, I try to just use one ear, like one plug at a time, like that, versus both um, both head head uh, earplugs or whatever, because it's really not good for you, especially if you're clear audience. All right, so prioritize. It says Archangel Metatron, focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. I will help you get organized and motivated. All right. Listen to what the, the guidance that you're getting. This is clear audience and then prioritizing. When you hear something, whether it's something like a good idea, it's some wisdom, it's some inspiration, it's um, 
some type of motivation, something of that nature. Listen to it. To in, take it in. Make sure you take it in with your own mind and stuff. You're responsible for your own life and stuff. Um, pay attention to it, especially if you need to get your stuff in order, maybe get your business in order, maybe get your home in order. Uh, maybe organize your life, maybe um, organize how to better yourself or something like that. Pay attention to a lot of that. So when you hear something, especially if you get the downloads and stuff like that, or you get the guidance and stuff, clear audience-wise, pay attention. It can be music, it can be people talking, it can be li literally lines from a movie or a TV show. Um, anything, any little thing, and you hear it, pick up on it, keep your little journal, little, one of those little itty-bitty notebooks that you can put in your pocket. And write it down. Yeah, you have to keep going. I, I have been battling stuff since Lionsgate. And it's really ticking me off at this point. But, like I said, I belong to heaven. I belong to the divine. I belong to my elders and my ancestors that serve my highest and greatest good. I belong to my angels and my spiritual team and spiritual family. There's a whole group and network of people that really got your back. Breathe. Again, here we go. So breathing technique. So this probably is a sign for me to really go ahead and do that sound therapy, especially if you have a little anxiety at this time. Especially have a little anxiety. Be just be cautious of what you're listening to. Self-included, because you'll drive yourself crazy listening to all the wrong people and, and music and frequencies and guidance and stuff like that. It'll drive you crazy. Silence your mind. Silence your mind. I normally separate myself. I shut down. Like I said, I took a break during Lionsgate, because I normally do that anyway. Lionsgate, I don't play with that. That, that portal, that's a bad portal. I mean, it's good because that's how you manifest really good stuff around that time. It's good energy because it almost marks the end of the summer uh, solstice and all that type of season and stuff. It's a good portal, but at the same time, people, so many people use that for bad stuff. It's just that's the perfect time to go on vacation. That's the perfect time for business stuff. That's the perfect time for uh, manifesting and like uplifting stuff and, and all that type of stuff. Redecorating, all that type of stuff. Feng shuiing. But I normally take a break around Lionsgate because the energy is so strong. It's a good time to meditate, cleanse. It's a good time to heal. It's a good time for a lot of positive aspects in your life, especially as you get ready to like prepare for like the fall season because the fall season, the energy is like different. I took a break around Lionsgate because I really needed it. I really needed it because, honey, <laughs> oh, I needed it. Child, mm -mm. But spiritually, spiritually, you have to take a break because you keep doing stuff, doing stuff, doing stuff, doing stuff. You're going to stretch your soul up. You're going to just wear yourself out. Just like you work a job or you, you're working yourself, working out to build your muscles and stuff up. You're going to overwork yourself. You're going to overwork yourself. All right, let's see. Breathe is here. It says, Archangel Raphael, take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. All right. Archangel Raphael, he is the healing angel. So if you are in need of healing angel, I think his candle is always blue. If you get the prayer, the prayer candles and stuff, it's blue, white, and I think they may make some specialty candles for him. Hey, happy New Year's to you as well. You too, sweetheart. I, had, I almost forgot. That's cat. How you doing? How's the kids? Okay, you are safe. This is Archangel Michael. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you and your loved ones and home. All right? That's Archangel Michael. So protecting yourself. Like I said, if you have anxiety at this time, there's different breathing techniques you can do. There's different meditations you can do. There's different things you can listen to. But overall, um... I've shown, I think, breathing techniques. I don't know. I have to find that video. I don't know whether I uploaded that video. It was supposed to be in sound therapy. I did. And I discussed the tech. It was a long video, so I don't think it, it uploaded or whatever. Um, I showed you how you can do breathing techniques, especially when you are under pressure or anxiety. Or you just feel like your mind and your body is just basically fighting each other. Knowing that you are safe and in, in putting that in your mind, you automatically should know that you're 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 that's a, it's a security thing with anxiety that you're safe everything's all right 
conquer that with your mind, but also actual breathing techniques actually helps your heart and everything like that because your heart is overworking itself when you're going through anxiety or under emergency, like especially like if an emergency happened, you should be able to calm yourself with these techniques. So I may actually have to show that. I learned some stuff. I was in, I was an MA. I was becoming an MA and they showed us some techniques because you're not allowed to freak out under pressure. You're not allowed to freak out under pressure. So they showed us a couple of different ways to how to handle emergency situations. You can take that and put that with the, uh, you can take that and put that with the breathing techniques as well. I want to say I showed it. I think. I don't know. It's been a while. It's been a while. So outdoors and life review, okay? And I'm feeling these two, so I'm going to take these two as well. Okay, so outdoors, this is Archangel Jaffiel. Go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Yes, ma'am. Okay, right here as well, it says outdoors. So going outdoors to connect right now, taking a walk or anything of that nature. Okay, it says life review, Archangel Jeremiah. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. All right? Okay? And then also, healthy lifestyle, Archangel Raphael. Eat a healthy diet and adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health. All right? All right? Got that? So, also working out outside, going walking, inquiring outside to your uh, everything else. Then it says, Archangel Jer Jeremiah, take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Especially if it's your eating or even your phys physique. All right. So, spiritual understanding. Archangel Raziel, I am bringing you historic information and symbols and helping you to understand spiritual truths. All right. So, notice symbol, symbolism, things, nature, statues, logos. Anything that's eye-catching to you at this time, especially if it's dealing with shapes and uh, whatever, like little stuff like that, pay attention to that. That's actually going to be a key. I would, If you can draw them, that'll be good, or take pictures of I normally take pictures of stuff. That's eye-catching as far as me. All right, so peace. It says peace. Archangel Samuel. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. All right? You got that? Ooh, okay. All right, so let me get one more because I only have room for one more. Let me see. I don't think about these cards. They're so thick. Okay, prosperity. It says prosperity, our change your area, your material needs and provi are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. All right? And this is a prosperity cornucopia thingamajiggy. So pay attention to that. All right? When you're in a state of peace, you're able to actually think. So go and have a... Wait a second. Okay, go ahead and have a... Uh, Quiet place, create a quiet place for yourself. Once you do that, you kind of sit like this little little whatever is normally my quiet place or a certain little other other area of the house is normally my little quiet whatever. And keep a notebook, a notepad, and a pen and actually jot down what actually comes to you because normally those going to be the really good ideas. But when you have peace, you're able to create, you're able to do a little bit more. So it says, beloved one, Archangel Shamu, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. All right. Okay. Divine order. Archangel Ragiel. Ragul. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlining order. 
All right, so divine order. Everything is in divine order. This can go for career, business, other things, of other nature in your life. And area just depends on how it resonates for you. All right? So, let me get something. All right, this one popped out. Okay, so... Study, it says reading, research, and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. If you're getting ready to make a career change, also just studying in period of different areas up to improve your overall life, whether it's health, whether it's uh, mental cognizance or home improvement, uh, what else? Bettering yourself, connections, communication, career-based things. It doesn't really matter, but studying things actually helps broaden your perspective. An overall look. Hold on, give me just a second. Okay, so we're back. All right, next is heart desires. It says the angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become reality. All right? So studying things that you are interest, interested in, pay attention to your interests. Pay, interest uh, pay attention to your interests and what you may possibly be interested in in the future. Normally you get these little nudges like, you know what, I kind of wish I knew... I kind of wanted to know, what about this? Those little things are nudges. And sometimes it comes from more of a spiritual place than a mental place. So what you're going to do, take your little handy-dandy notebook and your little pen or your pencil and start jotting those down. That way when you actually have so many notebooks now, and I'll jot some stuff down and come back to it later. And you can go to the zlibrary.com or .org. It's like a donation-based online library. And you get all the free books you want. They do accept donations and crypto. And you can go study. You can download stuff and you can study. If it tickles your fancy and it's not of bad energy and you feel like it's not going to throw you off alignment, study it. All that good stuff. All right, so. Let's see. Let me get a few more because it's like what? I need to get back in the B. Uh, okay, it's five. 458, so let me get, I'll do maybe one more spread, even though my fingers, okay, so options, it says, consider the career possibilities that are open to you, especially you going to a new field, study your field, you think you want to make a career change, or even if you want to start a business, if you want to go back to college, if you want to go back to school, you want to make a career change, get into the habit of studying stuff, there's all these videos and stuff on YouTube and Google, Use stuff to advantage. It's really no no excuse not to know something. If I'm if something tickles my fancy, I'm going to Google if I don't have a book about it already. And it's right there. The information is right in front of us. We just have to go out there and get it. So let me see. Okay, so it says body of work, basic body work. You may be getting a new tattoo at this time, or you may be into the tribal feathers and things at that time as well. Carnival, carnival, you may be into carnival or flowers. You may have a, a, a thing for feathers. Okay, it says your life purpose involves body work. Involves body work. They didn't, okay, they didn't word that right. Your life purpose involves body work such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training. All right? And this is the, I forgot the name of it. It starts with a T. This is the tribule symbol. I think it's the tribute symbol. So you may be into actual physical healing. That also includes Reiki and stuff as well. <clears throat> okay. You have light and love. It says your purpose is to bring divine healing, light, and love to this world. All right. 
So you may be an actual light worker. Like I said, research, 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 study, study, study. Oh, yeah, I'm just not seeing your question. I have not been on here in so long. I just started this past weekend with Carts and Coffee. Um, I'm working again, so uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing it on Sundays or I'm going to switch it to Monday or Thursday. I don't know. So, or Friday, something like that. I don't know, so I'm going to make a new schedule.